How's it going? David from Comic Book Investments. Well, today we're going to look at, according to Go Collect, the top five hottest comic books. And what do I mean by hottest comic books? These are the ones Go Collect takes all sales data and then which by volume, so units sold, and which ones are the hottest. So which has the most movement? It doesn't mean that they're going up necessarily. It just means there's the most that have sold. And these are the hottest by this week alone so let's look at this week uh 729 so this came out yesterday and these are the top five hottest comic books so most units sold all right and it's not the most it's just ones that have moved up the charts the fastest so the first one up is giant size x-men number one and they go collect calculates uh, about a, a thousand comic books and sees which one has been selling the most units wise and This giant size X-Men number one has moved up 977 spots, so there's a lot of volume being sold of giant size X-Men number one But that doesn't necessarily mean that the giant size X-Men number one Has gone up in fact, it's been going down so just because it's the hottest it could be the hottest for a different reason. It could be people are trying to move them out, get rid of them, and which I think is happening. That we had like this huge surge, you know, right around May, and where they're going for ridiculous prices, and people, even myself included, were holding them back and hoping they would go up even further. But the price has kind of come back down, and so people are pro like probably panic selling. So let's look at some of them. All right, let's 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 find ones that, right here. All right, so Go Collect has fair market value at 13.5, which this is just like a basic math calculation. It really doesn't really mean anything. It's not current. You have to open them up and see. So if you look at a 9.2, recently one sold for about 12,900. But if you went back just a month ago, one sold for 17.5. So massive drop. Um, <clears throat> then in May, you had one for 12, then 13 and a half, 13 and a half, 12 and a half, you know, all the way down. So yeah, it looks like it's gone down a little bit. Now let's look at some other uh, grade ranges. So you got like an 80, recently one sold for six grand, a month ago, six grand, but in May, that's when it was like right around its peak. 72 7 79 in april you know even 79 in march 7 75 so this one's gone down too right uh let's look at another grade range here we go three five you're looking now at 2600 back in may it was 3100 april's 3500 april again was 3700 back in march it was two and so far so as you can see just by this data that you know, April and May seem to be their best prices. All right, here we got one for, for 60. We got recently one sold for 42. Back in June, it was 46. June 46. June 46. Uh, May 44. May 43. April 49. 49. 52. Back in April. So yeah, as you can see, it's slowly gone down a little bit. Um, is that enough for a panic? No. And, and I think the reason why it's moved up 900 spots, 977 spots, is I think people are like, well, I need to get rid of mine now, you know, right where it still has, you know, it's still worth a lot. But I think in the end, this book will still go up even more overall. I think this is a good book to have. Like, I'm not selling mine, so... All right, next we got War of the Realms, New Agents of Al Atlas, oh, sorry, Atlas, uh, number one. And so what's, what's popular about this book? Well, this has gone up 966 spots, but the reason why is because the Agents of Atlas have been around, I think, 2006 was the original team, and then they did a new one which appeared in War of the Realms number one. And this one focuses more on like Asian characters. And 
there's a lot of speculation that since Shang Chi is coming out and all these other characters are coming out, that they're gonna do a new Agents of Atlas. Um, if my personal take is, if they do, it will it will be in name only, or it will be like kind of like an Avengers uh, end game where they just have like a shot of all the women. I think that was like A-Force or something like that. It's just going to be like that. It's not going to be a full movie. It will be in name only, maybe in passing, maybe in a TV show they'll mention something. But I don't see a full movie coming out or a full TV sh- uh, series coming out. And if they do, they won't have all these characters in it. They might have like one or two and just kind of make up their own and just kind of in name really, just not – not actually these characters altogether. I just don't see it. Um, but, you know, I could be wrong. Uh, so it's gone up 966 slots. So that's quite a bit. All right. Um, and, oh, yeah. Also, it's at number 33. of And Giant Size X-Men is at number 23. So what does that mean? Out of 1,000 books that they have that they calculate, this is number 33 on the list. And it's moved up, you know, 966 slots. And that goes by sales volume, like how many units are being sold. So out of all the 1,000 comic books that, they're, uh, that they keep track of, or the top 1,000 anyways, they show, this is number 33 in sales volume. All right, so if we look at it. Let's see what's going on here. <clears throat> we got a ton have sold recently. Um, and it's also not really fair, too, because... Compared to the giant size X-Men, you have 9.8s all the way down to 0.5 selling. Uh, there's going to be no 0.5s of this. So most everything's going to be sold. It's going to be 9.8 to 9.4. Yeah, you're going to have 9.2s, 9.0s, 8.5s. But most modern books are only going to have a couple grade ranges. No, like, look, there's not even a single sell of, you know, 7.5, 7.0, 5.0, all that kind of stuff. Like, they just don't exist. Um, so, yeah, modern books are kind of at a different... You should think of them differently because most of the time they're only going to be like sales within like four slots, maybe five or six. Like, and compared to a giant size X Men or Silver Age or Bronze Age, you're going to have them all the way down. You know, four o five five o six o stuff like that. So we look at it, it's like all right, we're looking around two hundred dollars, one sixty for a nine eight. Uh, let's see where it was. Yeah, even a, it doesn't even have that much data. It doesn't go far that that far back. But even June, they're selling for about the same. There we go. Um, let's see, recently sold ninety sixty six dollars. These are all from nine sixes. Let's go back to April, one twenty. Yeah, so uh, it looks like it. If you look, if you follow this, it looks like it was going. Peaked again around April, May, and then it's gone back down um, a bit. Yeah, so I think this will end up just being a rumor, not really going anywhere. That's just my personal take on it. Um, Yeah, so let's go on to the next one. All right, now we got Captain America 117. That is now at slot number 35. It is up 964. I think this book is going to get hit hard, but I think it's going to come back because now that the show is over, but now Falcon is going to be the new Captain America. Spoiler alert. Um, so let's look into that. All right. Um, it's like It's harder at the, the higher end levels because there's not many sales. Like, look, last one was March and then July. So let's look right around here. 8 <clears throat> Man, not that many either. Uh, July, you got one for a thousand, but back in end of April, you got about 1,400, 1,300, 1,600, 1,600. Yeah. Uh, let's see if there's a little more data. All right, here we go. Um, 1,200 for in July, but then in end of May, you got 14, or I mean, sorry, 1,100. <clears throat> and then 860, 860. So one sold for quite a bit. Actually, that was a record high for that one. Um, let's see, around 5.5. Five. Eh, hard to tell what these are. 
it's not that much sales debt. Okay, here we go. Look about 650, 650. Then in May, about 8, 850, 825, 900 in April, dang, 1200 in April. Yeah, so everything's been almost half. Look at that, 1200 to 660. Um, yeah, so that's, let's see around, let's see the lower end. 415, 405, it looks right. The lower end is probably around the same. You're not losing that much money. But I'm not worried about this book because I think it'll come back around. So if you have this book, <coughs> you eventually when Captain America 4 gets announced, and which I think it was announced, but once it's, uh, you know, you got pictures, trailers, all that kind of stuff, it'll continue to go up. So I'm not worried about the Falcon. Um, okay, next up we got Batman 251. I love this cover. Um, this is a Neil Adams cover. Uh, such a cool cover. Uh, it's moved up 961 spots and is now at the 38th spot. Um, so let's look into it a little more. Let's see if we can find some sales data. All right, so about $2,000, 1500 It's kind of all over the place. Um, let's see. Yeah, eight five, a thousand a month ago is a it was eleven hundred now. A month ago it was about eleven hundred. Back in May it was fourteen fifty. March eleven hundred. March nine hundred. So yeah, I mean, it looks like it's gone up a little bit, but not at its peak, which seems to be very common. Um, here's one hard to say what this is because it didn't say, but in June it was around 700, May 550, April around 700. So it hasn't moved that much. Um, but there just seems to be a lot of recent movement on it. Um, but yeah, I mean, this one is like a classic cover. Like with the Joker, Neil Adams. I don't see this book ever like dropping too much. But again, it doesn't have any like real first appearance other than a really cool cover, right? This is a very iconic cover. Um, it doesn't have any like first appearances. So I don't see it getting like massive swings. Like imagine if it's the first appearance of some random supervillain or superhero. And then there's like, oh, there's a movie coming out or, you know, it's on a TV show or a cartoon or something like that. Then this would see massive bumps. So, but then also on the flip side, it's like, what if that cartoon character, superhero, villain or whatever doesn't materialize, then that book drops. So, but this will always, I think, have a strong uh, following and it won't be swayed too much by movie news or something like that, right? Because it's just based off of this cover. This cover is very iconic. I see it printed on t-shirts. I've seen it on plaques. I've seen it posters, everything. So I don't see this one taking such a huge, like big jump up, big jump down. So that's just my take on it. Uh, and last we got moving up 952 slots at number 47, Wolverine limited series number three, which is interesting that it's not one or two or anything like that. Now, it does have a first appearance, but I think it's more... I think it's kind of like maybe... So you got number one, but number one's really expensive, right? And so then you're like, okay, you know, let's, let's, see, let's see what number one is worth, right? So if you want to pick up a number one and a nine, eight, you're looking at about a thousand bucks, $1,100, somewhere in there. Let's see what Wolverine. Okay. You're looking about half that, <clears throat> maybe even a little less, a little less than half. So someone that can't pick up, you know, this one, number one, maybe they're jumping into number three, right? That's, that's a very good possibility. Um, I don't really know why this one is other than other than that. That's like the only thing I can think of is why, you know, this one's moved up so many slots. Like why has this one moved up so many, right? It could just be the week that it's in. 
Um, maybe this week just happened to be a very popular week randomly. Everyone just happened to want to buy and sell their Wolverine uh, threes. Who knows? But, I mean, it does have that black cover, which is kind of cool. Um, I mean, these all have big pictures of Wolverine, though. So it's like I would say, oh, it's a good picture of Wolverine. But, I mean, this is the iconic cover. So, but, I mean, if we look at 9, 8, you're running about. Let's see how, how it's been doing. Well, it looks like close to, well, 550 in May. And one recently sold for 520. But it really hasn't been hit that much because it's kind of all over the place. You know, April, you got a 350, but then you also have a 602, right? Right next to each other. May, you got 355, but you also have 550, right? So I, I feel like this one hasn't really gone up or down. Um, recently, July 130. Roughly the same. And this one's 180, but these are 150s, 120, 129. Um, I mean, here is 160, which is in on par with the rest of these. So this, yeah, this one hasn't really been hit like a bunch of other comics have. 90, yeah, it's all around the same. So, yeah, this one's pretty pretty much uh, held strong. So, yeah, that's that's my take on the top five. Uh, hottest books according to go collect uh, like I said this goes by sales volume so you can look at it here you know moving up ma many 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 spots so but that doesn't indicate if it's going up or down all it just means is a lot of people are selling and buying them all right have a good day